Walk-ons, and here is why. Founder and CEO Brandon Landry is a former walk-on at LSU, and he got together with the one and only Drew Brees to open a restaurant boasting elevated Louisiana-inspired food alongside an unparalleled sports experience. And today he's here with us to chat about the restaurant's team's passion and test Mike's sports trivia. And for those of you at home, y'all can play along. Welcome, Brandon. Thank you for having us. <laughs> all right, so how about that food from Mike? <laughs> yeah, right? I'm Look at this spread that you brought. salivating as well. But how did being a walk-on inspire you and help you with the whole restaurant experience? So I said often, you know, I was, I was on the team and I was the 12th man on the bench. I played seven minutes my senior year. For anybody that knows anything about basketball, there's 40 minutes in every game. <laughs> I would do it 100 times over. Everything I learned about being a teammate, being a part of a team, being a part of something bigger than yourself. And we carried those traits and philosophies over in our restaurants today. You know, it doesn't matter if you're the general manager or you're the lowest he or she on the totem pole. You're something to the team right. and you're an integral part. And so we, we live that each and every day and it works. And like somebody like Drew Brees knows that because if it wasn't for the guys like in front of him, even though they don't get the notoriety, He's going to be on his back on the field, not he, throwing pass. He's the best teammate you could pop. I mean, look, whether you're a Saints fan or not, I think if you're a good guy fan, if you understand team camaraderie, people love Drew Brees because of what he's done and what he's done on and off the field. All right, so we are going to play a walk-on trivia game, yes. and we have some questions uh, for Mike. And I am uh -oh. the first. I have the first card. Are you yes, ready? I think Y'all so. can play on at home, too. Okay, football player. Yeah. Texas Tech in Oklahoma. He was on a walk-on twice, first at Texas Tech University, then at Oklahoma. Is that the right one? Nope. Oh. Here we go. There we go. All right. Played tight end at Central. Okay, you should know this. Played Central Tweet Michigan it. University, a uh, walk-on University of Wisconsin. Uh, was it, it wasn't, it wasn't J.J. Watt, was it? Was. I can, he was You got bingo. it. You got it. All right. Now I didn't know he went start. to Central Michigan. Bingo. Oh. I don't know that was part of these Okay, random. one for one. Hey. All right, uh, am I going mm -hmm. the basketball going. player? Let's nope, see. okay. All right. This walk on played football, but he was only five foot six inches tall, and that's stretching it. He was carried off the field after the team won a game. He was a walk on at your favorite university. The, mo <laughs> the movie was named after him. Okay, uh, you're wrong as far as my favorite university, <laughs> that's him. But, uh, Rudy, of course. And yes, yeah. that is a tear That was a layup. So that was yeah. a layup. That was, a, that was an All easy right. one. Next. All right, next. All right, uh, played basketball at Central Arkansas. He was a walk-on at Central Arkansas. He won six NBA championships, and he played for the Chicago Bulls, and he was his right-hand man. Uh, Pippen? Bingo. You're good. Ooh, You're good. Oh I didn't know God. he was a walk-on. Yeah. Okay. Started off as a walk-on. Oh. All right, and then back to this one. You yeah. heard some of this earlier. All right, there you go. It's on the screen. He was a walk-on twice versus Texas Tech, and then Oklahoma won the Heisman in 17, and was the number one overall draft pick in the 2018 NFL. Uh, yes, yes. Quarterback. Uh, we can't read your mind. Huh? We can't read your mind. What is it? <laughs> no, he just. Um, um, if you're not frying, you're <laughs> bake, baking. Um, bake. You're a so oh, Baker Mayfield. Yes. There we go. <laughs> bing, bing, bing. Thank you for the assist. <laughs> I had my ears in the Heisman Trophy yeah, mixed yeah, yeah. up there just a little bit. Oh. So. All right. Well, of course, you and Drew really value your staff even going undercover recently, right? Yes, we did. We actually had the opportunity to uh, go on Undercover Boss. Um, and That's uh, Drew Brees. Yeah, that, that's Drew right there. <laughs> He in looks disguise. like the Geico caveman. Uh -huh. And uh, look, we're, we're about to uh, double the size of our company here mm -hmm. in, in the next couple of years. And we thought it was a great opportunity just to go see what's really going on behind the scenes. And, um, you know, there's no better way to do it than to go in as not yourselves and not as the CEO and, a, and another owner. And so uh, we went in there and look, I, I think the, the, the best thing that we got out of this is really understanding that we have great people. And everyone has a story. Mm -hmm. and, and sometimes, you know, like we have 33 restaurants now and thousands of employees, but we, we don't get that one-on-one -on -one personal time with many of them anymore. And the, and the opportunity that we had, we did five different jobs over about a week and uh, got to meet some amazing people and, and find out there's they really, I mean, everyone's got a story and, and they're all humans. So the show's, of course, on another network, but we really value the concept. And folks can get free beignets. We mentioned it earlier, for yes. in case anybody missed it. Yes, through, tell throughout, them when and where. throughout all our restaurants. And of course, we have the two here in Hollywood Park and in Hebner Oaks. Uh, if you come in, uh, you can sign up for a, a signed, autographed Drew Brees football. And then we're offering 
free beignets. These, All right. these wonderful little delicacies there as well. And you have something extra special here. Yes, which yes. And so he could not he could not be here today, and okay. uh, we had a tough loss on Sunday. Yes, <laughs> still licking our wounds. But uh, Drew did he wanted to present wow, you guys at San Antonio that? Live with an autographed one of one of his autographed jerseys. So that's that's so cool. that, guys, you that know, is very very that cool. That is very and very I, nice. And, and I'll tell you what, mm -hmm. we are going to come up with a way to give this away. Yes. Absolutely. We'll figure out all the details <laughs> on that, but tell him thank you yes. very very much. Yeah, yeah. And I think just about everybody's pulling from for him because he is a good guy. Yeah, he's. A, I say this all the time. Whether you're a Saints fan or not, if you're yeah. a good guy fan, you're a Drew fan, and we're we're proud to have him and. Very excited to have him as a partner, and you know he's he's in. He's he's a big part of our. Company. That's wonderful, Brandon. Thank you so much. Appreciate well, to check out the.